Welcome to our lecture online and here's our next example of how to find the radius of convergence and also the interval of uh, convergence for this particular power series. Again we're going to try to find the ratio of the n plus 1 divided by the n term. Let's do that. The ratio is equal to a sub n plus 1 divided by a sub n which is equal to replace every n by n plus 1 we get x minus 2 to the n plus 1 term divided by n plus 1 squared plus 1 so all we did was find the next term in the series simply adding 1 to every n and then we divide that by the previous a sub n which is x minus 2 to the n power divided by n squared plus 1 Let's go ahead and simplify that. Well, first of all, x minus 2 to the n plus 1 divided by x minus 2 to the n is simply x minus 2. But now here we have 1 over this quantity squared plus 1, which gives us n squared plus 2n plus 2 divided by, in the denominator we get 1 over n squared plus 1. That can be simply written as n squared plus 1 divided by n squared plus 2n plus 2 times x minus 2. And now we can go ahead and find the limit of that ratio in the limit as n goes to infinity of the ratio is equal to the limit as n goes to infinity of this quantity which is n squared plus 1 divided by n squared plus 2n plus 1 times x minus 2. And we'll put that in absolute value signs. Now, if we take the limit of this ratio, as n gets very large, n squared will become much larger than 1, and n squared will become much larger than 2n or 1. And so as n gets very large, we can ignore the other terms in that ratio, and therefore, as n becomes infinite, the ratio of n squared divided by n squared will converge to 1. And then this whole limit will simply be that 1 times x minus 2, or simply x minus 2. Now, for this series to converge, it is required that this value right here, x minus 2, is less than 1. So, for convergence, we require that this quantity right here, x minus 2 is less than 1, where this value 1 becomes the radius of convergence. And if we then solve this for x, let's go ahead and do that over here. So we get minus 1, we take the negative of that radius of convergence, is then less than x minus 2, which is then less than positive 1. And then if we add 2 to every component here, we add 2 to this, we get 1 less than x, less than, add 2 to that, we get 3. And then see that this will become the interval of convergence, and the radius would be the distance from the middle of that interval, which is 2, to either end of that interval to 3 or to 1. And so you can see that the radius of convergence being 1 is simply the distance from the middle value to 3 or from the middle value to 1. And that's how it's done.